first weekend of my daughter's senior year of high school anyway, they, they went to a party their senior year and her best friend, if we saw our daughter, we saw Kaylin. And uh, uh, this is another one of the things that Journey Pure allows me to do now because Kaylin was killed in a drunk driving accident on August 30th, 2009. She went to a party, got in a car with somebody that was intoxicated. Uh, and, you know, I go speak to schools and stuff now because just seeing the impact that that had and the effects of usage, we travel all over the state now giving, giving talks about smart, be smart. Because uh, I hope that's a phone call that nobody ever has to get. I, I couldn't understand a word my daughter was saying. You know, I talked to them at midnight and uh, really and truly they were just like, uh, we're, we're just going to stay down here. And I was like, come on home. You know, y'all come on home tonight because my, my wife was taking them to the, a concert the next day. And uh, it's like, no, we'll, we'll be there in the morning. We'll be there in the morning. And I hung up the phone. I looked at my wife. And I was like, they're up to something. But, I mean, whoa. Uh, you, don't, you just don't think things that dramatic and that big can happen. And then two and a half hours later, I got a phone call, and I could not understand anything that my daughter was saying. And she was in the car behind them. But again, that's another thing. Journey Pure understands the importance of that. Yes, we provide treatment, but unfortunately there's more than enough people who need our help on a daily basis if i can have an interaction with just one kid at every school that i go to <laughs> just to make them think before they do something